Hey guys, what is up? It's Master Chief Unity here, and today I wanted to show you something. And I cannot record this on my computer. It is too laggy. I am sorry, guys. But on my Mac here, you can see clearly see I have split screen working on Minecraft. So here I have a controller, which is the bottom screen. So here you can jump. You can do anything with the PS3 controller that I connected. And keyboard and mouse is top screen. So top screen is my Master Chief Unity account that you are all familiar with from my channel right there and then the um, bottom screen which is looking at me right there is a second account here which deluxe gamer 23 did give me i helped him and got him an intro and a video editor and uh yeah big shout out to him he's the reason i can do this and he's it, really awesome i have a secondary account now guys and go ahead and subscribe to him link in the description box below and yeah, so I can move around as me up here on the top. We can play mini games, and you can be moving around here. So if you, if you have a friend, you can do this and play on servers on your own land world. You can just in with mods and everything. As long as you can do it on normal Minecraft, you can do it in split. Sorry guys, my iPod crashed, but this is the tutorial now. So what you're gonna need is a controller, whichever one can connect to your Mac. USB, Microsoft receiver, whatever. I got a PS3 controller connected right here. Now, you're gonna go to this link, which is in the description below. First link in the description. Then you're gonna scroll down, and you've got your version here. So choose whatever version you're using on like, whatever. So, you want 1.9, that's what I'm doing click here it says here then it will take you to media fire you download this so let's just say that it is right here let's just make this folder and make this joypad so you download it you put it here you get out of that and you're gonna need minecraft forge so if you already have this there's something on the screen right now that it will go to that time and this will already be done so if not keep watching and what you're going to need to do is find your version that you got, uh, all of these, just hover over it, then click your version, and then you can use any of these, just find the one that works, just try Installer Universal, and not the Windows one, because we're using Mac. So do that, go through the installation process, then after you've done that, you should have Minecraft, go to Minecraft, and you will have, but you should have, if you did it correctly, a Forge profile. So, in your profiles, right here, there should be a Forge one with a lowercase f, I added a bunch of different ones, but this one, right here, you see, uh, this one, right here it should be that one mine's not i set it up that way and after you've done that make sure you have it do it all the whatever steps you needed to do to do that now go to your uh, your bar up here click go hold down alt or option key whichever one you're using and then you'll have this library show up you click that then right here you see application support if you don't have it just search it and then open application support click M it'll bring you over here you open Minecraft and then click M again and you'll find mods open that put your joypad mod in here I already have it in there this is something you don't need it's just Optifine if you guys use that as well I just use that so once you've done that you go to Minecraft and you can do this with more than two people if you have more controllers that are different ones that have different keybinds. Or you could do multiple keyboards with different keys, like WASD and then like IJKL, which is kind of hard to do. So let's click play here, and it should open Minecraft like it's supposed to. Let's see, here we go. Now, once, okay, why? 
why is that there? It's from video, I don't know why it's there. Once Minecraft has opened up right here, I'm just gonna wait for the Mojang to show up. Once the Mojang shows up, you're gonna hold down Command Option and then click Escape. And if you're on a Windows keyboard, it's Windows Alt and then Escape. And then here, you're gonna click Minecraft Launcher, Force Quit, and Force Quit. Now, that should disappear right there. Now, exit out of that. Go ahead and open Minecraft again. And it should open the Minecraft launcher again. You got the Minecraft launcher again while well, Minecraft is open. That might be a little weird. And yeah. So let's let's go ahead and click switch user. So you're gonna sign into the second profile you want to play with. And you can do this with three, it's, it just takes longer and you have to find all of the keys. Then play. And that one will load up. It might be a bit laggy here. Especially when I'm recording. And let's just leave this one open. Let's just go to options so it doesn't have to load much. And then this other one should open up in a second. One sec, guys. So here it has opened up, but this is not actually open. It's just the glitch. Um, there we go. I don't know why that happens to me. I don't know if it happens to you guys, but that is not the point of this video. So let's just let this load up. Let's bring it to size. This one is a little big. So if people that you play with get mad because they think your screen's bigger, all you have to do is measure it with an actual ruler. Just make sure they know. And it doesn't really matter that much if you have an extra millimeter. I mean, does that really matter? But we're not worrying about that in this video. You guys can worry about that. I'm in just getting this point across. So you guys can do this at your house and on your computer. So once this one is open, go to options, controls, and you might see something up here. Just turn that on. And then go through the keybinds and find all of these. It might be a little confusing, but you guys you guys will figure it out. You can do it in-game. You don't have to have the other one open while doing this part. As long as it's on the other profile, you want to be the bottom screen. So just set all that up. Then you go done. See this little crosshair? That's the menu mover on this one. And this one is just the keyboard and mouse. So that should be already be set up. I'm going to go to this world. We're just going to go ahead and open to land in the middle here. You don't have to select that, just click start land world. Now I'll go to this one, multiplayer. Scroll down and you should see the land world right here. Click join and that one should load up. So it's logging in. Now this, the bottom one is my PS3 controller. So I got my PS3 controller here. And you can see it says join the game. So there it is. We have, it's kind of laggy on screen for it because it has to load both of these. But my MacBook runs it and it's awesome. And you, you have a split screen here. So you can do servers. And yeah, you can you can play with your friends on a split screen on your computer. If you guys did enjoy this, please hit that like button down below. That'd be very appreciated. And yeah, see you guys in the next video. Bye.